Standing at 1,344 metres, Ben Nevis is the highest mountain in the British Isles. This is me, Rob, and this is my twin brother, Andy. Across the next three days, we'll be clambering up to the summit of three of Britain's highest peaks, whatever the conditions. Ben Nevis in Scotland, Scarfell Pike in England, and Snowdon, North Wales. All in aid of raising money for Tamla, the Twin and Multiple Birth Association. I'm truthfully starting to feel sick. I underestimated this massively. We're probably about a quarter of the way up, and I thought we'd be near the summit. All that money for a good cause. We're at the top. It is weird that it's a Monday and at kind of six o'clock in the morning we're climbing Ben Nevis for Tamba, a charity for twin and multiple birth. We are officially the most, what, the highest? We are the, we are the highest twins in, in Britain. It's 5.15 a.m. and we're slowly moving away from our campsite and warm sleeping bags to the foggy and cold conditions of Ben Nevis. Well, this is where it all begins. It's the 7th of June, and up there is Ben Nevis. We're at the very bottom. It's just gone five o'clock in the morning. So we're ready to conquer the mountain. We had less than three hours sleep, and it was a bit cold as well, but hopefully it's gonna warm up so we can get up there and get back down before dinner. We're beginning our climb up the mountain on the south side, the most common path for all novice walkers. Being from East Anglia, a rather flat corner of the country, we're really not used to this. The advice was just to bring water, bring water, and bring some more water. But it's true, 200 yards up and we're already very thirsty. Picking the perfect day to climb Ben Nevis is hard, with 261 gales a year and over four metres of rainfall. We hadn't been climbing long when we hit the clouds. God, they're so refreshing. Other than being on a plane and travelling through them, I never walked into clouds before. I reckon it's about minus one up the top. Well, already it's about seven degrees, I'd say, minimum here. So how cold it is going to be on the ascent up there, I don't know. But I'm already very hot. We've been walking for about an hour now, so we've got about another two, another two and a half, three hours to go. The tranquility and beauty of Ben Nevis can only be appreciated by experiencing the mountain firsthand. Walking amongst the clouds can only be described as breathtaking. Now, if I told you this is June, you'd believe me. What if I picked up a handful of this snow? Three hours later, two litres of water lighter and spirits higher than Everest, we reach the summit of Ben Nevis, the Gaelic translation of Mountain of Heaven. We are so tired and so relieved to see that kind of shed building over there. It's kind of fort area here as well. We travelled 12 hours yesterday to get here. We climbed it, we've done it. it feels fantastic. The highest twins in Great Britain. Oh yeah. No time to rest, we got down from Ben Nevis after five and a half hours of intense climbing. We headed directly to Scarfell Pike in Cumbria to climb England's highest mountain. Just like Nevis, the weather at Scarfell Pike was terrible. One local warned of 40 mile an hour winds on the mountain in the afternoon. We had to climb early and hope for the best. On our way up the mountain, the weather took a turn for the worse. Well, we don't think we're going to be able to do any more filming because obviously damage the equipment, but if we have to, we will, but the weather's just too bad to film anything up here. The last 100 metres prior to reaching the summit was extremely dangerous. One slip and we would easily have fell to our death. We reached the top of Scarfell Pike quicker than planned, a more prominent indicator than Nevis to say the least. This was England's highest mountain. Time to climb down and head to Snowdonia before nightfall. Two down, one to go. The road trips gave Andy and I time to talk about the aim behind all of this. Indeed, this was one of the most exciting things I've ever done. But we were fit and healthy twins raising money for those less fortunate, and people were all too happy to sponsor. We talked a lot.
Snowdon, the highest mountain in Wales, seen by many climbers as the easiest of the three. But after two days of climbing and two evenings of driving, we were both exhausted and we looked every bit of it. Really tired, our legs are really stiff and achy from yesterday's climb. So today we really do want to get up and come straight back down again and soon really. The paths to the summit of Snowdon are considerably clearer than the routes of Ben Nevis or Scarfell Pike. What Snowdon has, which the other two mountains don't, is an alternative to the summit, a railway which carries thousands of tourists to the peak every year. The sunny morning, which filled us with optimism, was over. We were halfway to the summit and the cloud submerging Snowdon approached. We trekked through the dense humidity of walking in the clouds. Suddenly, we were there. We were at the summit and drenched. Absolutely brilliant achievement. We're both very happy indeed. And raised money for Tamra as well, which makes us feel very happy. We've done it, like three, three or four months of preparation. All that money for a good cause. We're at the top. We had done it. We had reached the peak of all three mountains in three days. For us, the adventure was now over. For the family struggling to raise multiple births, the challenge has only just begun. We hope the sponsor money we raised has improved the lives of people the same as us, only less fortunate. <laughs>